I think the quest was always to make it as simple as possible. Simple for a chair means that it's just one continuous contour. We try to start with a clean slate and then find the form through the constraints. There's almost no area where I cannot give you a reason why the shape is like this and it needs to be this way. I would think, uh, as you see here, we built like 35 fully functional prototypes before we showed the concept to Herman Miller. This is a really a functional prototype. The tricky thing was how to make this part here and the synchronization between seat and back out of one part. This is um, one of the very first beams we milled here in our office. And as you see, there are no spokes in here. The seat portion and the back portion is a continuous part, but it doesn't communicate with this one. This was the first kinematic chain that we built really quick and dirty. This is a very early breadboard model of the kinematic beam. When I move this, you can see that while this is moving quite a lot, this is moving very little. And it, you can also see that it works in both ways. This is like one of the first all out of one material. This area here you call a living hinge where um, it has no true pivot point, but it acts like an axis.